I'm going to talk a little bit about the challenges of HMI development, some of the findings we have had so far, and some proposals how to improve. Second, I'll talk about how we have deployed our products in the AWS cloud to enable SDV implementation. And I, I will review a key partner case to kind of talk through a lot of these key points and findings that this is really working. And then uh, lastly, I'll talk about AI and how we are bringing AI also to be part of the development process to really help boost the productivity. And I'll give you a sneak peek of a product launch we will be doing in January. Before I move on, a couple of words about Qt. So Qt is a world-class cross-platform UI framework. We have hundreds of millions of devices in the market deployed today. Our developer base is in the millions. Qt can be used in a very resource-constrained devices. We can run Qt on microcontrollers. We can also build a very graphic-intense applications for high-end use cases. We have our own 3D graphics engine, which is very capable, very performant. We are supporting also XR, VR use cases. So with Qt, you can really go from low end to high end with one technology base. We support all the major operating systems, and we are supporting also tens of different chipsets uh, in our offering. So with Qt, you can really build any kind of device you want to do. Our top priority is to enable our customers to build world-class products and user interfaces. Here are some of the obstacles that we have seen in the past that might lead to delays in products, creating bugs, and this is really about the whole software-first approach. Hardware limitations. With limitations, I mean limitations of actually accessing hardware. Or you build your software solution and then you figure it out that, oopsie, my hardware really doesn't support it. There's not enough performance. Or you are building a solution that you have to actually deploy into multiple different hardwares. So you might not have access to all of those. Or you have to have a mechanism how you can test in the multiple hardware configurations very early on. Setting up the software environment, the development environment, is very tricky nowadays. So there's so many tools, so many libraries that you want to use. And you might have your developers in-house, you're using subcontractors, they might be deployed into different sites. If you set up the software development environment wrong, you have different versions or outdated libraries, it will create conflicts and bugs in your product. These two, I think that we have already proven in this SDV approach, that these can be addressed. There's major improvements already in place to address these two things. The third point is really about agile development, and I don't mean agile coding. I mean agility across all the software development phases, starting from the UI design, development, and also test automation. This is where we come in. We have products for all of these areas, and we are trying to make sure that all these products work seamlessly together. We have deployed all of them into a cloud to really enable boosting the productivity of developers which brings me to the developer productivity. So there was this interesting study made, and there's a lot of controversy about, okay, whether this is true or not. The reality is that developers are doing many, many different tasks. It's not just about coding. They're doing research, you're doing documentation, you're doing troubleshooting, you have to communicate with a lot of people. There's very little time spent on actual coding. So this is our challenge as industry, that how do we enable developers to be more productive? How, ca how can we create software processes and tools to make sure that they can create more and not spend their time on plumbing and trying to figure out different tools? This is how we see AI from Qt Group perspective. Like I said, we have products for UI design, development, and test automation. So this is the research we are doing on trying to bring AI into all of these product categories. But it's just not about an individual product. It's about combining all these products together with the help of AI that we can increase the product productivity throughout the whole process. So our approach to Software Defined Vehicle Initiative today. So on the left-hand side, you can see that our tools, Qt Design Studio, which is our UI design tool, Qt Creator, which is our IDE to develop the code, and Squish, which is our test automation tool. 
they are already being deployed in AWS Cloud. This is your hosting uh, development environment. Then you can deploy the software that you actually build either into a virtual hardware environment that runs in the cloud or into a physical hardware. And it's the exact same software that is running on these virtual environments and in the, in the physical hardware. This works. And then you can also deploy the Squish server into the virtual or real environment to initiate your test automation. So these products are already deployed in the cloud. What are we working on next? Qt can run, if you're building like an instrument cluster, it can run on Linux, Android, QNX, and now we're bringing also AGL, so automatic grade Linux into our offering. Squish, our test automation tool, is running on Linux, and now we're also introducing Android Automotive. So if you have projects where you have Android Automotive, you can use our product to test the GUI and uh, do the test automation for that environment. There's a lot of talk about shift left, and this is really, really important that we bring these tools to be very early part of the development process. If you remember two slides ago, I talked about hardware limitations. Bringing hardware into your software development process enables you to do performance testing, look and feel testing, but you need test automation tools also to test the software, test the UI logic, and this is what we are bringing into this offering. You can use Squish very early in your development process. Whenever you do a change in your software, you can already automatically create the test case and deploy that into a cloud during your development. So it's not that you develop first and then you test. We're bringing the test automation to be an integral part of the software development. Here's how it works today. So you want to identify errors and bugs as early as possible. We're enabling every developer through this initiative to engage in test automation. And when this is running in the cloud, you can deploy these runners by the thousands. There's unlimited scalability when you run this in the cloud. And this is the power of test automation. Once you have set it up, whenever you do a change, you can already invoke the test automation and deploy that into a cloud, and it's running there. This is available today. So this is... Our partnership with Panasonic, so they have the Skipchain offering running in the AWS cloud. We have been working on this for, for a year now. We have tested. So if you look at there are a lot of kind of challenges that we were looking into that can you run 3D cluster in a virtual Skipchain? Yes, you can. Is the performance good? Yes, it is. Is it as good as running it in a physical hardware? Come and try it out. We have it on our booth. Take a look at the performance. It's a real thing. If you can run 3D in a cloud, you know that you have good performance. One of the problems that you might have when you're developing clusters is that, okay, you need a, a low-end cluster that runs only 2D. Then you need a high-end cluster that runs 3D. You have different hardware setups. You have different operating systems. All of this is working today. You can deploy these different targets, different implementations into a virtual skip gen, and it will run. SDV, Software Defined Vehicle. This is not only applicable to vehicle or automation, or automotive industry. This can be used in any industry. A couple of months ago, there's an AWS um, reInvent event where we already demonstrated a medical application. So this is a kind of a hard, hard rate monitor running. The application is running on the AWS. We have Squish there running for test automation. And this you can see in our booth. So we're at the North Hall booth, 10,127. Come and visit. You can see this thing live. And Qt is used in 70 different industries. So this is really close to our heart, not to just focus on automotive. That's the number one. We have done it. But we want to also empower all the other industries to take benefit of this, this process and, and running software in the cloud. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of our new product launch. This will be launched in January. So in the, in the coming days. This is an AI assistant that is integrated into our IDE. So we have an IDE called QCreator. So we are integrating AI seamlessly into the workflow. I'll show you a demo here how it works. And this is really about you using AI as part of your development. We don't dictate any LLM, so you can kind of pick and choose whatever LLM you want to use. We have benchmarked a lot of the LLMs that what is good for C++ development, what is good for Python development, what is good for QML development? 
So we know we have some history and some data. We have tested it, but we don't mandate any LLM to be used. So you can pick and choose whatever you want. So let me run the video here. So this is our IDE, and you know we're now running a, a demo for code completion. So AI is proposing you that, hey, use this code so you can take a look at it, and then you just accept. You can prompt the AI in English, so you can highlight some code and say, hey, I want to understand what this code is, or I want to change this and that. And the AI will give you a, a, an alternative or proposal that you can change the code this way. Just click here, and it's accepted, and then you can move forward. Expert advice. You can highlight any code and ask the AI that, what does this code do? Can you please explain it to me? You just click a button, and then the AI will go and interpret that code for you. It will explain what it does. Code documentation. You can automatically generate the code documentation for your code. You just click there, select documentation, and it will create the documentation for the highlighted code. Test case generation. Whenever you're doing a change, you can already generate the test case right from the IDE. So this is for module testing, unit testing, or, or the GUI testing. So very powerful, very well integrated into the development flow. So again, this is available in a couple of weeks. Very excited to bring this also into the AWS cloud. So let me explain how that happens. So same picture as earlier, but now on the left-hand side, we're bringing the AI assistant first to the key creator, the IDE to generate code. We are also working on enhancing the UI design tools and the testing tools with AI. We're not there yet, but we're working on it. But then at the bottom, you see different LLMs. So AWS has the thing called Bedrock, which is an adaptation layer where you can bring different LLMs to your workflow, whether it's your own internal LLM or Claude Sonnet, Llama, whatever you want to use, this is how you bring it to be part of your development flow. And again, this is coming in January. And it works in the same setup that you're using this AI as part of the integrated tool chain, and then you can deploy your applications uh, either to the virtual hardware or to the physical hardware. This is a longer video. It is available on the internet. It's a, it's a demonstration done by Matt Pollack from Amazon. This was presented at the reInvent event a couple of months ago. It's a five-minute video. I don't have time to go through that. It explains the whole AI integrated workflow in Amazon. When you're building a cluster, there's a use case that when the speed limit is overachieved, you want to change this highlighted color from green to red. So it explains to you how you're using AI to figure out what the requirements are, how you're going to generate the code, deploy the code, and deploy the solution in the virtual or physical hardware. It's a very exciting demo, and thank you, Amazon, for, for making it happen. Very, very powerful showcase of this technology. <clears throat> so that's my presentation. We are very happy to work with Amazon on this, and we are excited to bring out test automation tools into this environment and bring our AI solution in the coming days to be part of the development workflow.